Welcome to Daddy's Improv. <laughs> so we're going to tell an improv story and my daughter is going to pick the subject and I'm going to tell a story for her. So, well, the, you're going to pick some of the main uh, parts of the story, like uh, how about, uh, give me a country. Um, Asia, that's a continent. You want a continent? Oh, no, give me a... No, uh, Hong Kong. Hong Kong? Oh, is this Jackie Chan? All right, give me uh, <clears throat> give me a method of transportation, and don't say a hot air balloon. Um, tricycle. A tricycle. No, no, no zip line. A zip line, okay. <laughs> and uh, you want any animals in the story? A hippo. A hippo. <laughs> Are you serious? A hippo in Hong Kong. I'm a <laughs> All right. Um. Okay, so, <clears throat> anything else, um, uh, guy or a girl, who's the, who's the lead in the, in the story? The hippo. The hippo is the lead? Alright, once upon a time there was a um, traveling circus, okay, that, they're from America, and they went over to uh, Asia. Yeah, and in their tour of Asia, they stopped in Hong Kong. Hong Kong. And <clears throat> there's a certain uh, tribe, a certain ethnic tribe within uh, the southeast district of Hong Kong that uh, they, uh, they worship hippos. And it, it just happened to be in the uh, ancient Chinese calendar, the year of the hippo. You never saw, you never went to a, a, a Chinese restaurant and saw the little calendar and they had the little hippo? Mm -hmm. It's right by the, uh, the rabbit. <laughs> okay. So, the hippo, the thing about the hippo that made this so special, it was blue. <laughs> no, it was not a pink hippo. It was a blue hippo. Because Paul, Paul Bunyan, you know, I mean, hey. If Paul can have a blue ox, we can have a blue hippo, right? <laughs> no, really. So, um, so what happened was, all this this ethnic tribe, they're like they were like going all crazy, and they're like, we gotta go see, we gotta go see the circus, cause we gotta see the blue hippo and pay our homage to the year of the hippo. And uh, so, what happened is the entire tribe. <coughs> showed up at the uh, carnival. The circus. The circus. And, and there are like 12,000 people in this tribe. And they only had 8,000 seats and 4,000 were already sold. Do you think that's going to stop them from getting into the Blue Hippo? No. Nothing is going to stop them from getting inside the big tent. So this, this tribe, this ethnic tribe, called the Hujuits. You never heard of them? Mm -mm. No, you do Wikipedia. The Hujuit tribe in Hong Kong went in and all 12,000 of them burst in. And of course... The police were there? Police couldn't do nothing about it. Are you kidding me? This is religious pilgrimage. Ain't no police gonna stop that. I mean, how often do blue hippos visit Hong Kong? Never. No, once. This is the one time. Other than this one time, how often? Zero. Zero. The big fat zero. So guess what happens? It's pandemonium. All this, these, uh, who do I, what do they call them, the Hujuits, went in to the big tent and, uh, and um, it was chaos because, because uh, there was too many people in there. They couldn't all fit in. The, the, you know, standing room only wasn't going to work. And people started screaming. There was a little stampede. And some of the animals got loose. And the monkeys, monkeys were having a great time. You know why? Because they were swinging. <laughs> they were doing more than swinging. Free food? No. They were going, uh, they would swing up to the top of the tent and they zip line down. <laughs> zip line, baby. They would zip line down, baby. And they zip line down and they laid it on the hippo. <laughs> and they said, they said, yeah. And somebody says, uh, hey, Toto, we're not in uh, Texas anymore. Okay. So, but they yeehawed onto the hippo and the monkeys escape the stampede because who's going to get in the way of a blue hippo stampeding through a crowd? Everybody escaped. Down 
into the financial district of Hong Kong, right? And the British expats were out there drinking their tea. It was tea time. And here comes uh, uh, a bunch of people running and screaming, and there's a stampede of people coming down the street, and they're outside drinking their tea and smoking all, you know those pipes that go down like that? Mm. They're wearing these funky hats. And uh, here comes a blue hippo, right? Hey, Walter, what are you putting in this tea? I think I'm hallucinating. It's a blue hippo. <laughs> I think it is a blue hippo. Oi! So here comes a blue, okay, right. So then, and, 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 and is a monkey on top of the blue hippo? It's a green monkey! Hey, hey, what a monkey is! People say we're monkey in a rat hat. So anyhow, and who is right behind them? The Indians. Hitchwist. No, there's Indians in the story. We're in New Delhi now. So what happened, what happened, there's an airplane. New Delhi's in India. Air India is flying into How Hong Kong. How did you get to India? And because you, you said there was Kong? Indians in the story. So, so what happened, uh, some Punjabs were looking out the window and they saw the stampede and they go, they go, holy cow! No, no, they said, holy hippo! And they said, that is the blue hippo of our prophecy! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and so they, they went and they, and they pulled like the emergency, like, like the, 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 like, you know when you ride a bus and you pull that bell? Ding, ding, ding. And the bus has to pull over. Well, they got those on airplanes. Ding, 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 ding. No, they don't. No, they do on Air India. No, they don't. Have you ever been on Air India? No. Okay, I, okay. This, I'm telling you the story. Have you so what happened was the pilot, he's like, look, I can't pull over, but what I can do is I can open the hatch and get everybody a parachute. So, boom, all the poon jobs are flying down. They're going to get on that blue hippo because the prophecy. And so the blue hippo going to the financial district. What's the name of the tribe? Hu Ji Minh. <laughs> so the 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 and the, and, the, and the Hong Kong tribe that's chasing them, they're like, how does this hippo know where to go? Because he took a left going to our village. And so <clears throat> they have a shrine built for him. So the hippo gets to their village. At the same time, whose village? The ethnic tribe of Hong Kong. They have but, a shrine set up for the... But they were just in India. No, the Indians are coming out of the airplane right now. You said you were in New Delhi now. No! Air India from New Delhi was flying to Hong Kong for a conference. A, a, it was a religious conference. Okay? And they saw the prophecy with their own eyes. They remember they pulled the bell. Ding, ding, ding. They jumped out the airplane and they're flying down <clears throat> and and they and they pulled the the, the what do you call it, the ripcord <clears throat> and they all landed in the village the same time all the ethnics got there and uh, the natives and uh, of Hong Kong the Chinese natives okay they're like the uh, the Bedouin of Hong Kong okay they're the Bedouin of Hong Kong in fact you know the only reason they were able to keep up with the, the blue uh, hippo, because they had camels, fast camels, because Bedouin love camels. I don't care what continent, where they you are. the goats. The goats? They have the goats and they have chickens. You didn't mention any goats and chickens when I started the story. <laughs> okay. Maybe did I mention right. camels? Well, it's funny you should mention goats and chickens, because they have to sacrifice at the altar, and they had nothing but goats and chickens. So here comes the blue hippo. The Punjabs, the, 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 the Bedouin tribe of Hong Kong, and they all arrive at the same time at the, at the Holy Shrine to the Blue Hippo. And the Blue Hippo, they had this big uh, chair made out of granite. Out of granite. So the Hippo, they got like little tails. So they can sit, they can, they can find a chair and sit down on their tush and cross their legs. So, so the blue hippo sat down like this and he crossed his leg like that. And he crossed his leg like that. And he, and, and he said, uh, and, and you don't know how he could speak, right? 
Oh yeah, the hippo spoke, honey. And the hippo said, uh, I need my crown. Right? So he got he got a crown. He got a crown. And uh he said, uh, you know, for this for 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 all of your um reverence to my my blueness, okay? Um uh we're gonna have an atonement and it's gotta be a lamb or a chicken, right? A chicken? Goat. Or, or goat. a little chicken. Or goat, okay. <clears throat> so, so the blue hippo, right? Mm -hmm. His name was uh, Cruz Azul. You didn't get No, Cruz Azul. Cruz Azul. Yeah. Oh, Azul. 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 The Cruz Azul, the blue hippo. And so, so, so everybody offered up a sacrifice, an atoning sacrifice. And, uh, and, and, um, the hippo said, save me the dark meat. What was that noise for? <laughs> it, it, his hippo was not a vegetarian. And so, uh, they had a big feast, honey. It was a big feast. And that was in, uh, that was in, uh, 1965. So this is the 50th anniversary of that event. And they and they and they and they replicate that anniversary to this day. Matt, why do you keep making that noise? Okay, okay. So they are making a Disney movie. <laughs> they are. I kid you not. And uh, and it's great. It's great because the prophecy was fulfilled. They were atoned. Okay, even though they try, they try to live a good life, they knew they had to uh, you know give thanks to the gods. You know. And so the blue hippo said, uh, just save me the dark meat, you know, like I'm, I'm a wingman, I'm a wingman. And he had a wingman in the, uh, in the uh, circus and um, they were there. Zipline, baby. The monkeys, they know that I hooked this guy up. The monkeys were, they were legit, legit. Monkeys were funny, man. I'm kidding you not. They were like, uh... you know, like, you know, like uh, Moses had Aaron, you know, to help him out. The blue hippo had the monkeys, you know, and he delegated to the blue hippo, you know, uh, authority for o o over the people that revered them. And to this day, you can go to Hong Kong, and uh, uh, if you go, and it's and it's funny thing is the 50th anniversary is, you know, once again the year of the hippo. <laughs> Why do you keep making that noise? All right. So uh, you want to book a flight, hun? Want to go to Hong Kong? No. Hun, this is a uh, this is the TV. They you got they can't see you. Gotta, can't hello, see. hun. You hun, you want to go to Hong Kong? No. No. You and I, Anna. You and I. No. No. Tough crowd. I'm going. <laughs> see you in Hong Kong, baby. That's my story. You're not going to Hong Kong. That's my story. You're not going to Hong Kong. I gotta go with what I got. Ever, ever.